welcome to another section of our YouTube training. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because of the popular demand how you can program a wizard for energizer. I will take you through it this afternoon. Okay, please come along with me as we do that. So today um, I have here a wizard for energizer. Yes. Okay, this is a wizard for energizer. Let's see the parts of the wizard. This is a control panel where you where the programming needs to be done. And right here on the panel we have some jumpers we have three jumpers this is the default way it comes three jumpers you notice jumper three is not closed jumper two is closed jumper one is closed now note that jumper number two is used to control um to activate or deactivate the What's the name? The key switch of the energizer. Um, there's also this position for a jumper here. You see this? This um, is a tamper switch. So what you need to do for your energizer to on most times, you need this pressed down. So because I don't want to press, I don't want to close this energizer. What I need to do is to try and close this jumper here. So what I'll do here is for now this is spare jumper, the one on jumper three. I'll come here and I'll close this. This I'll close this very one here. I try put on the energizer. You see, it's going on, and I can also off it here. I do that again. It's on again. And I do this. It's off. Let's go fully to the programming mode. Okay, your jumper number three is what is used to control the switch. Now let me open this so you see this terminal. You see this the switch. This position see switch written here so that is where your cable where you can use to remotely put on and off these uh, energizer for the programming of this energizer to activate this switch position all I need to do is to take out jumper number one and take it to jumper number three close jumper three now Jumper 3 is closed now. Okay, fine. I need to try my switch also. You see, my switch is working. It's working. Now, if I take off jumper number 2, this is it, off. You see, your key switch refuses to work. It's a safety device. In case you want to activate the relay, the, sorry, the switch, so that nobody is able to put it on with this any longer because you've deactivated this they can no longer switch this one on with this ah, let's go i'll put it back again for you to see you see you see it's working now it's working all right okay that's one feature you should understand um understand about your wizard 4. the next stage is for us to test this oh i didn't i didn't try this before let me connect this i'll show you something just watch this jumper if this jumper this uh, jumper is removed this a uh, close uh this one here is removed from this switch the energizer if it's in the default mode the energizer would not function so it is used to secure it but for now let's see this i'll take this off and Okay, see, because I've programmed it, you see this is out, good, alright, okay, I'll connect my cable to that point where I remove that jumper, Okay, so I have connected that. This is the other, this is the cable, and this is the other end of the cable. What I need to do, okay, this is the other end of the cable. 
is the blue and the white of blue. If I join this now, watch me, just watch, watch the energizer, watch this. You notice the energizer is off. Can I open it? It's on. Close again. It's off. I open. Alright. That is how you program a Wizard 4 Energizer. And um, with this, you can cooperate with any kind of switch. I'll see you in our next video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Uh, more videos are coming. I will encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can, you can click on the notification button so that whenever we post any video, you will be the first to get that notification. Please like and share this video. Thank you for your time. Do have a nice day.